What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out a new sport and that is called hurling. It's popular in Ireland. I think that's like the only team or country that plays hurling. I may be wrong, uh, but of course it is one of Ireland's native Gaelic games. Okay, this is off Wikipedia. The same game played by women is called Komoji. So I guess it's two different names for two different sports, which shares a common Gaelic root. So maybe there's some different types of roles um, with women compared to men. But it's a very popular sport, one of the most popular sports in Ireland. It says full contact, so I'm very excited to see what they have here. Team members, 15 players per side, substitutes are permitted. Uh, Olympic demonstration sport in 1904. It is not Olympic sport, I know that because I, I, I like to follow the Olympics a lot. I never heard of hurling in the Olympics. Um, the highest governing body is the Gaelic Athletic Association. And right here, there's a photo of a stadium they're playing in. 82,000 people at the 2009 All-Ireland Senior Hurling Championship Final. 82,000 people gathering to see hurling. I never heard, saw this sport a day in my life. I don't even think I heard of it, to be honest. Doesn't mean, of course, it's not popular just because I didn't hear about it, just saying. It's uh, very surprising to me. Very surprising to me. I'm very excited to check this out. Hope you guys enjoy. Nick explains the rules so, of hurling. So, Nin explains, reacted to a bunch of his videos on his YouTube, so make sure to check him out. The game is played on a field that's generally a maximum of 145 meters by 85 I'll try not to talk over this These are the goals, which are six and a half meters wide. I'll pause it if I need to. Which is two and a half meters above the ground. Unlike in football, the posts extend above the crossbar. So I noticed with a lot of these Gaelic games, though. The exact same goals and field dimensions are used in Gaelic football. Exactly. They're like the all similar. The They'll have some attached. The opposing team. To score, a player must use his stick, Look known as a hurley, to hit a ball, known as a sleotar, into the goal. If they successfully hit the sleotar under the crossbar and into that the goal, be hard. this is a goal and is worth three points. If a player hits the sleotar over the crossbar, oh, no way. The posts, this is a point and this scores one point. The Looks like it takes a lot of skill. 30 minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. Any game that results so in a draw sure lacrosse, baseball, hockey. Surely it can't be that simple. Well, it's not. There's a lot of things you can and can't do to move the ball up the field in hurling. You can move the ball by hitting the ball with the hurling. Let me pause this hands. quick. Okay, I'm going to use my advantages of ground. pausing. Okay, because I'm screen recording on the iPad. I got a lot of comments on my Australian football video. Stop talking over it. I get it. I get it. I learned. I learned. Either way, I notice I get some negative comments sometimes too when I like to compare sports. So with Australian football, I said it has a little bit of basketball because you have to bounce the ball. It has a little soccer because you're kicking the ball. It has rugby because you're tackling and stuff like that. Like, it's not, I'm not saying that Australian football is sort of like soccer. I'm just saying it has some types of types aspects that remind me of it. Okay, as somebody who never watched Australian football, I'm obviously going to use things I'm familiar with to, you know, make myself try to learn it easier. I'm not saying Australian football is like soccer. I'm saying it, I could use the word soccer, you know, to remind myself that, okay, well, it has some aspects of it to the game. It helps me learn easier. I'm not saying, of course, like I said, I repeated that already, but I'm not saying Australian football is sort of like this and that and copies. No. Okay, every sport's unique. I'm just saying. That's how I use it to like to learn it better. With hurling right now, I'm seeing some baseball because they're throwing up in the air and hitting it. Okay, that reminds me of baseball. Uh, lacrosse because, well, you know, a stick, a ball, hockey, a stick. Um, so, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm saying get like, uh, hurling's like baseball. No, I'm just saying as somebody who knows a lot about baseball, I like to use the comparisons. Either way, let's get back to the video. Kicking it along the ground, kicking or lifting up the so ball. So kicking him too. And then striking it. A See, that's the baseball the aspect to it. If he bounces or bounces Look at that. On his hurley, a player can catch this takes a lot of skill, I'll be honest with you. And a player can catch it like that? So there's a lot of ways. Arm. A lot of ways to pass it. However, a player cannot touch the ball on the ground with his hands. A player cannot throw the ball or throw their hurley. A player cannot take more than four steps with the ball in hand. And a player cannot play the ball from his hand to his hurley more than twice. Gotta be, Therefore, gotta be risky with only that wearing a face mask. Twice in one possession. There are 15 members of the opposing team who are trying to take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. They are allowed to make shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact so long as the opponent has possession of the ball. Or, if no one has the ball, has to be, be good hand eye coordination. the opponent nearest the ball. They are also allowed to use their hurley to block shots or prevent you from shooting. Games are generally high scoring and fast paced, but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, Puck. A puck is a restart in play, usually after a foul or if the ball goes out of bounds. 
If the ball goes out of bounds, a puck is awarded at the nearest line. If the ball is hit out of the end line by an attacker, the defending team gets a puck out at the 65 meter line. If a foul occurs, a free puck is awarded either at the spot of the foul, where the ball lands after a foul, or at the 20 meter line for fouls Ooh. inside the 20 meter area. Foul. If a player commits any of these infractions, a foul is assessed and the other team is awarded possession of the ball. Yeah, so typical. You can't push, ball. kick. That's Just like, like in a football, lot of sports. A player can well, also be push, cautioned push or sent off the pitch for serious offences. Penalty puck. If a foul is committed on a player with a legitimate chance to score, a penalty puck, similar to a penalty kick in soccer, will be given to the attacking team. The ball is placed on the ground at the 20 meter line and all other players must be 20 meters away. There is one goalkeeper and two defenders defending the goal. The player is allowed to lift the ball off the ground and shoot the that's ball. That's impressive. Once. I mean, that's hard to stop, too. That has to be hard to stop. Substitution. A team is allowed to substitute up to five players per game. Very similar to football, the players must wait in the substitution area and players must enter or exit at the designated area only and only in a stoppage of play. To the uninitiated, hurling seems like a strange sport to understand. But once you understand the rules, I, th I actually it's like this. I'm gonna have to check more into it because you found this video at all it, it takes a lot of skill, like, a lot of skill. Friends, comment and subscribe. It took me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy hurling. Good video, buddy. That was a very, very interesting sport. Honestly, one of my favorite new sports I reacted to. I don't say that often because, well. It took a lot of skill. I mean, I like that. I played baseball as a kid. I knew hitting a baseball, especially as as you get older, obviously the ball gets faster. It's hard to like, hit a bat, a wooden or a metal bat, and hit a small baseball with the size as what they were using in hurling and hit it. Okay, now let alone running, have people chasing after you, throw it up in the air, hit it quick. That seems even harder. Uh, but that's very uh, impressive. Very cool sport. Has a bunch of aspects to it, though, like I mentioned. Baseball, soccer. Uh, you could even dribble it, I saw. So like basketball. I'm not saying it's like basketball, just saying that it has aspects like that. You obviously dribble a basketball in the sport of basketball. So I saw them dribbling, sort of like basketball. Uh, very cool sport. If you any fans, please, of uh, the sport of hurling, please comment down below what you, what you think about me reacting to it, what you think about the sport. Recommend any videos for me to check out. I'll be happy to check out if you haven't known by now. Okay, once I react to a sport, it's usually not the last time I react to it. Um, if people recommend more videos, I'm going to react to those videos. Trust me, I will, I will. I like expanding, love learning new sports. I love sports in general. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel, please. Help me get to 7,000 subscribers. I'm out, guys. Peace.